Welcome to Key Review. Next up is SH Figure Arts Ultraman Leo. Leo comes with a bunch of accessories. For hands, we got fists, holding hands for the nunchucks, two different options for open palm with slightly splayed fingers, chopping hands with curved thumbs, and chopping hands with straight thumbs. He also comes with two color timers, a left upper arm with the arm bracelet, nunchucks, Leo Kick Flame, and his hand energy beam. As with the other Showa Ultra figure arts, Leo is sculpted from his Showa suit design and proportions. The sculpt work itself and the engineering is excellent. Leo is a solid figure. You know, despite being mostly hollow plastic. Paint work is great too. He's mostly red, so it's hard to mess up there. The transition around the armbands could be better, but overall it's good. On to my least favorite section, articulation. Oh no, honesty! Leo's got some good range, could be better. Engineering-wise, the cuts are a little more suited to hiding gaps than extending range of movement. As an experiment, I'm just going to let my articulation demo play and discuss my thoughts rather than the technical aspects. Plenty of other reviewers wax on about ball joints and hinges and whatnot. It's just grown stale to me. Be mindful of the hands and color timers, as the hands can pop off and the color timers can fall out. Same experiment for part swapping. The color timers can be a bit of a pain to push into place, but come out pretty easily. The left shoulder will give you some resistance, but that's a good sign. The elbow pops out relatively easily. No real issues with the hands, and I'd be mindful of potential paint rub when it comes to the Leo kick effect. Going to size comparison, we have Leo alongside Figure Arts Ultra 7 and Ultraman Zero, Heroes Brave, Ultraman Tiga, and Ultraman Gaia, and back to Figure Arts with Antlar and Twintail. Ultraman Leo is a great addition to the Ultra Figure Arts. The only thing I'm a bit leery on is swapping the left arms. I've had the Ultra Act Renewal Leo with the same accessory. I bought it used and abused, and the left elbow was ridiculously loose. So for this one, I don't want to swap the arm parts too much. Ultimately, time will tell on that one. <laughs> 